getting set for Milwaukee Mile here for round three of the GameStop Xfinity Series. First time these drivers have been to this track. So still um, curious as to how this race will go. Um, not too much problems in the um, in the practice sessions here. As Ryan Butcher on the front row. For this green flag is out here at Milwaukee Mile. Drivers down in the corners here. 19 with the lead is the fourth one. Trying to um, get second there. Thompson in the 41 has takes it's over on second. It's Ryan Jolie's 40 car with ish problems here. It's down the road. Comes for the 41 back right there. Um, these guys go three wide here. Contact being made is the big to get me. We head back up to the front. Oh, and the yellow flag is out. It looks like we have a wreck in the back 40 car. Just talking about him. There he, there he is. Um, right here, Griffin is directly brought up a caution and more wrecks up here in 07. 42. Like they wreck here. The so caution flag is out here for the first time. My um, control seems to be really off right there. It's, it's um. Right to the front is Ryan, which looks like he was the leader. I'm gonna get you a look at the replay and see what happens here. Here you're gonna see the 40 car Griffin. Yeah, just came out of the pits and then slid right up in front of the 88, I believe. Yes, and they made contact. Fisher, this week's winner in Atlanta. Both drivers going up into the wall. Damage for Fisher. As um that's what not caution there originally, and then I saw the 42. So go around. Go hard hit into the wall for the 07 right there. Um Um, had Lewis, um, had Lewis, in, um, filling in for the injured Salado, Manny Salado, I guess. The driver's got in a wreck. So, yeah, that was basically your caution. Let's get you back to the restart. Makes it to go back green. Ryan Butcher is the leader still. Everyone's still on the track. 40 car is a lap down. No one else is on the lead lap. As um, I don't think Fisher and the has brought it in. As, okay, go back green here as Ryan Butcher continues to lead here in the Milwaukee Mile. 18 down to the inside already, his teammate. There he is right there. Up to Buford and harder to the wall, the 40. No caution, I don't think. Watch it. They're gonna wreck, they're gonna wreck. Guys, as the leaders just wrecked right there, the lap car. The four, yep, we are still green. As Buford, I'm from Buford in the 18, way out front. Gordon Fisher and Dean Scott battling for position. There's a 40 going on pit road. As we are still green. As the 18 continues to lead. Right here, you're gonna see what happened here. These leaders, the 40 car, who looks like he still was still fast, overdrove the turns and gets into the 19 of Ryan Butcher. He's caught that 41 and the 9. I don't know how these guys even saved it. The 9 goes hard into the wall. And then, you know, right there, these guys are 5 wide. I have no idea how those guys saved it. Eli Bright suffered some major left side damage. So that's gonna definitely affect his car right there. Not sure what the 40 was doing. He just overdrove us trying trying to stay on a lead lap. And Buford came out with the lead. Buford continuing to lead. Right now with the out. Gonna see here. 
got a second lead, the second 1.2 lead over second base car of Jaden Scott. The partner running third right now, going to push fourth, and Ryan Butcher there he is just really doesn't look like they're not affecting him much. I think the caution may be out, no, we're seeing the oh, car around, that's the seven. Looks like he got turned out of two and caution flag is out. There's 18, Jonathan Buford, the leaders. Caution flag is going to be out once again here at Milwaukee. Let's get you a quick look at the replay. What happens? Right here, teammates uh, running right side by side. Um, Jeff Bright made contact with teammate Raymond Fisher, but also got hooked by the 23 right behind him. And since Mariah, great job by everyone else to try and avoid that wreck right there. That could have been much bigger. Um, I believe that was the only wreck. Yep. So we'll get you right back to the restart. Anthony okay, Buford continues to leave here. We're gonna walk a mile. Um, still, well, 40 cars out of the race with a tire issue, so. The only driver out of the race, everyone else still on track. Onto the B3 is the leader. Jake Scott, Willow Parker, second and third. Green flag is back in the air. Driver here from the 18 here. Continues to hang on to the lead as um, 48 and 33 trying to battle for second here. Looking for the back 516. Pass having a great run. There's Ryan Butcher who has damage from an earlier collision. Still really fast and running up here. There goes the 33 now making move for the Parker for second and he's gonna drive it in there really deep. 48 trying to hang on the outside. Side is the preferred line here, and looks like 33 is going to come away with second here. As Philip Parker now has a chance to chase out the effort. However, we are under caution again. Jeff Bright once again looks like was involved with heavy, heavy hood damage. Jonathan Wong looks like he may have been involved in even more wrecks up here again. Caution flag is out. We have another wreck to look at for the third time. Buford continues to lead. Let's get a look at the replay. See what happened here. Right here you can see what happened, um, Jonathan Wong and Kenny Allen Keith are side by side and I believe the 78 overdrove the shot the corner just a bit, he did. It's into the left front of the 12, goes into the wall, Jeff, um, Jeff Bright just nowhere to go. The rear end of the 78 right there and just destroyed the front end of his car and his days most likely done along with the 78. And up here... Let some drivers go around. I can't remember who it was. Oh, right here. Three wide situation. This went four wide situation actually. It's a but Cruz and Alec goes around. Around the 14 and Fisher in the 88 also went around. It's a big pile up right here on the front stretch. As some drivers were able to escape with very little damage, others not so much. We'll try to get you back to the restart. Here at him. Set to go back green here. More drivers now out of the page, including Fisher. Up up zero and seven. The jump right is out along with the 40. The 21 is a lap down. Um I'll be for still the leader. And the flag is back out. Goldberg now third. Drivers did make stop some of them. 33 going by Ryan Butcher for position. Butcher now falling on the outside. The battle is up here. There's the 21 who's a lap down. Kind of looking like he's a bit slow. And we have another wreck as Anderson in 14. Looks like he went around and caution flag is out once again. Before it continuing to lead, he's gonna be the leader here. 
Caution flag is out again. Let's take a look at the replay. We have two separate wrecks to look at here. The first one's gonna include the um, 14. It's just another overshotting corner wreck here. Oh, the one hooked the 07 and then it's into the 14. That's what happened. Four. It's into the 14 with some good damage right there. Goes back up into the 07. And that's what happened to Anderson right there. Then up here we had another wreck. Um. Goes right here. Yep. Fisher, Jordan Fisher, the 45, and also the 20, John Hunt. Those drivers go around into the um, middle of the pack once again. 42, nowhere to go, just glided right with the um, 20, right into his um, hood right there, and destroyed both drivers. Both drivers will be out. John Hunt filling in for, um, I completely forgot. 42 and 20 are going to be out of this one. Caution flag is out once again. Let's get you back to the restart. Being set to go by three more drivers out of the race. 28 cars on the lead lap. Two of them are lap down. It's Marks right there. Another driver. 33. Wait. Come on. The drivers did make pit stops again. As Marcos Alejandro, the 98, comes out as your leader. Green flag is out. We're less than. We're, we're past halfway now. A one down to the inside really fast here trying to get around these lap drivers three wide behind them guys don't slide up contact being made right here they're not gonna, they're gonna wreck they're gonna wreck and around goes the 21 the 01 and upside down he goes on the wall it's Vanderbeck right there is been over goes the 01 here at Milwaukee and Surprisingly, the car is still able to drive as caution flag is out once again. Drivers seem to be very impatient here at Milwaukee. So, caution flag is out. 98 is still your leader. Go get a look at the replay and um, see what happened. So, these guys were three wide, on one being aggressive, trying to get by those lap drivers and ended up pushing on each other no one was giving an inch right there and that's the results right there the only one going upside down and hiding on top of the wall here hopefully the barrier is okay everyone diving down low trying to avoid them and then Owen goes on his roof again and all four he did retire out of the race I don't think we had any more wrecks up here so we had a car go up and over here pretty wild race so far here at Milwaukee Mile let's get you back to the restart we're gonna get a restart here with about 10 laps to go 11 or 10 laps to go 98 is your leader all one did retire out of the race this is Marcos Alejandro Followed by Price, the rookie, Fitzwater, Carson Bowers, and Jonathan Buford, your top five. Green Flag is already back out and trying to make their way around the slow car right here. Who is that? That is Jack Marks. He actually doesn't even look like he's that slow, but he's still holding up those drivers. Marcus Alejandro, the rookie, trying to run away with the lead, looking for his first career Xfinity Series win. The caution flag is out again. Eli Bright, heavy, heavy damage, and is smoking along with the 12, Alec. The caution flag is out once again. Try to get a look at the replay here, see what happens. So this was a pretty big wreck here, as these guys going three, four wide about, and the 25. On with the fire, overshot the corner. Jordan Fisher goes hard into the wall, head first into the wall. It's to the six of Marcus Sachi. And it was just a big mess from here. Drivers could not slow down in time. Heavy damage for some drivers. Eli Bright, the 07. And that just ended a bunch of drivers' day right there and chances at winning. 
So big pile up on the back stretch leads to another caution flag is Alejandro is the leader. Let's get you back to the restart. We can't finish this thing on the green. Green flag is back out. Marcos Alejandro the leader and since we are on the 10 laps to go, no lap cars will be on the inside but Austin Mark or Jack Marks looks like he's still in the way. Henry had a pitch water trying to go by along with Keith Stevens. 21 away to the outside. Battle for the lead. Two rookies. Price in the 46. I don't know which price that is. That's um Taylor Price, I figured it was what it was. It's Taylor Price to the lead here. Hopefully we can finish this thing on the green and I spoke too soon. As it looks like we have another wreck and there they go. Jonathan Wong is around. This might be the race to the win here. As they're still racing it back to the start finish line. Taylor Price gonna outrun 98. Lead that last wreck ended the race. Taylor Price the rookie. It's gonna lead him back at the line as caution flag is out. May have just ended the race right there. Go get a look at the replay and see what happens. I hear Ryan Butcher who was running up front at the beginning of the day. Like he was involved in something right here. Got into the 33, 33 slid up, got into the 11. The drivers, all three drivers going up into the wall. Um, I don't think that was a caution. The right here is where the caution was called. Dalton Wong getting clipped at the last second. Level 7, nowhere to go as his day continues to go from bad to worse. So that's what brought out the caution. Let's get you to the finish of this race. So this race will end on their caution. It's Taylor Price, the rookie in the 46 Camaro. Looks like he's going to capture his first win after he crosses that start finish line. Marcus Alejandro is going to get second. Looks like he's Stevens third. This is going to go to Buford and Henry out of is going to get fifth. As Taylor Price in the 46 career win number one here in the XP News series comes at the Milwaukee Mile. As we get you down to your full standings here, Taylor Price scores his first win. Marcus Alejandro finishes second, Keith Stevens third, Jonathan Buford fourth, Henrietta Fitzwater, a great finish for her, finishes fifth, James Scott, um, Thompson. Philip Goldberg, Diego Lopez, and um, Anderson finished you know, off in your top 10. He fell and Fernando Leza running out your top 12. Only three drivers finished the race, 40 of them started, only one was a lap down. Everyone else finished on the lead lap. So, congratulations to Taylor Price on scoring the win at Milwaukee. Get you down to victory lane. Great, great job, guys. That's awesome.